got a few minutes spare, so I just thought I'd um, film a few tips for the new year. Um, obviously, you know, my main job is coaching, but a lot of people, especially at the moment, can't afford that. So I thought I'd do a few little tips just to give you some ideas on how you can move forwards on your own. So tip one from me would be download My Fitness Pal um, or something similar where you can track all your food. Um, I would always pay for the upgraded option so you can monitor your macros, set your macros as well as your calories. Um, that I think is a really beneficial thing to do, but that would be my first tip. Tip three, right, so with this, what I would do, I personally tend to go with two basic macro split options. So if I'm trying to drop a little bit of weight, I tend to go with a higher protein, slightly lower carbs. So I would go 40% protein, 40% carbs, 20% fat. That for me tends to work pretty well in terms of fat loss and um, energy levels and everything else. Obviously it helps keep your protein intake high, um, which is good for making you feel satiated and full all the time but also it's really good for if you're training hard tip two right so what you need to do is find your maintenance calories um so the easiest way to do that is obviously by doing it um in terms of like setting yourself a target and then adjusting it as you go so if you look online there's plenty of tdee calculators that work out basically roughly what your maintenance calories would be so i would recommend punching in your weight on one of those um your activity level stuff like that and it'll give you a rough idea of where to start in terms of your calories so what i would also try and do is always try and eat whole food so try let's try and keep the car uh, yeah, the processed foods down to a minimum I mean, obviously with macro tracking, you can have things like chocolate bars and things like that. It's not going to be beneficial for you in the long run. The odd little bit, that's great. That's fine. I think every, everything's okay in moderation. But if you literally used up all your carb intake in sugars, that's not going to be that beneficial. And obviously, um, the other thing to be mindful of is making sure you're getting all the micronutrients. So make sure you include a good amount of vegetables in your meals i mean a good rule of thumb and it's actually this is this is where the argument about vegan diets being healthy is it comes from because your diet even as a non-vegan should contain a lot of vegetables and this is where vegans sort of often argue that you know their diet's healthier i mean and the final tip so for me this is the most important thing be consistent and be patient a lot of people sort of expect results within a couple of weeks of doing it. What I'm saying in terms of like finding your maintenance and going slightly below that if you want to lose weight or going slightly above it um, to gain weight, we want to preserve as much muscle as possible if you're in a deficit, so you don't want to be dropping weight too quickly. And if you're going into a surplus to try and build some muscle, you're not going to want to gain too much fat in the process. So be patient, just put yourself in a slight surplus or a slight deficit, depending on what your goal is, and go from there. But the most important thing, obviously, like I said, it's patience and consistency. You've got to do this for a good few weeks to really notice a difference. I always sort of find with my coaching that the three month period is where you really start to see the changes in terms of, you know, it's not like when you look back at old pictures. So if you took pictures of yourself, if you are looking to bulk a bit and um, gain a bit of muscle or you feel that a 40, 40, 20 split isn't giving you enough energy, you could go something like a 30% protein 50 percent carb 20 percent fat ratio that again i think is a, is a good thing to do don't be scared of carbs a lot of people think that you know eating carbs is going to make you put on weight it will not make you put on weight it's the excess of calories that does that the carbs are going to be very beneficial for you if you are training hard you might even you might gain a little bit of weight in terms of on the scales but in terms of fat gain that won't be the case basically the extra carbs will be used obviously as fuel and it, you'll probably have a slightly higher glycogen level within the muscle so you'll hold slightly more water in the muscle look more full so you would possibly look more muscular by eating a high, slightly higher carb another tip so 
don't be scared as well of eating things like chicken thighs or steak or beef, you know, with a bit of fat in it. Obviously, um, you know, we've all sort of been brainwashed into thinking that we need to eat chicken breast and fish all the time to, to drop weight. You'd still need fats in your diet. So getting fats from meats and things like that, and obviously a lot of nutrients as well in chicken thighs, things like chicken thighs, steak, things like that, a lot of good nutrients to help you build muscle. So definitely don't be scared of eating things like that. Just make sure that obviously you track your food, track the weight of the meat that you're putting in, and yeah, it, it should sort of roughly work out pretty close to where your fats would be. And um, yeah, that's a good place to start as well. If you're trying to build muscle, you know, even if you're trying to drop body fat, it's always a good thing to try and build some muscle in the process because the more muscle you have on your body, the more calories and everything. So the next tip, in terms of when you're working out your maintenance calories, so go roughly with what the TDE calculator says. And then from that point, do that for a week and then see what your weight does. I mean, roughly to gain a pound, you'd be somewhere between three and 500 calories in, in a surplus. To lose a pound, you'd roughly be three to 500 calories a day in a, in a deficit. So if your weight maintains on what you've been given, you know pretty much that's, that's bang on your maintenance. So obviously over a few week period, you can take a little bit of adjustments up and down, just adjust the calories slightly. But um, yeah, you need to find that maintenance first, but don't rush, don't panic. If it takes a few weeks, it takes a few weeks. That's not an issue. So whatever your goal is, whether it's to bulk up or lose weight, start with the what the calculator gives you as a rough maintenance 